For years, I struggled with insomnia. I'd wake up in the middle of the night and couldn't get back to sleep. And then I discovered sleep meditations and bedtime stories and cured it. So if you're struggling, I hope that this helps you set a bedtime routine where you prioritize feeling good and going into the sanctuary of your mind. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share a video from Michelle's Sanctuary with anyone you know who's also struggling with anxiety or insomnia. Let this be your haven from the world. This week's sleep story is sponsored by Live Lab, a U.S. and French company founded by ex-insomniacs and sleep experts. If you prefer to listen to sleep stories with headphones, which I recommend, then you know it's hard to find something that feels good throughout the night. Hoomband is a comfortable audio headphone with flat speakers so that your ears won't hurt while you're sleeping. Hoomband comes with an app, and I've created original sleep stories for them. Some of them include the Magical Igloo, New York Harbor, the Ancient Temple, and the Orient Express. I want to thank them for supporting this sanctuary and for helping my mission to help others dream away. If you want to enjoy these exclusive stories and a night of comfortable sleep, give Whom Band a try. Save 25% by using the promo code SANCTUARY. The link is in the description. Let this guided sleep story inspire you to relax and fall into a deep sleep. You are listening to The Firefly Dance at the Lake Chalet, a sleep story for grown-ups. How would you like to have a lakeside cottage you may visit whenever you need to get away? Travel to a picturesque lakeside town in Vermont known for its friendly community and a renowned general store run by Ike and Martha. Every year when the fireflies return to dance in the pristine air, festivities take place to celebrate their arrival. Enjoy a cozy night on the lake by the fire, taking in the splendor of nature Fall asleep in your beloved lake chalet, a home away from home. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's sanctuary. I am Michelle, your ally and advocate for peace and sleep. If ever you find yourself struggling to sleep or find time for yourself, The sanctuary is here for you. Slip away from the noise and distractions of the outside world as you cultivate a rich inner life. As your nervous system stands down, your imagination flourishes to help you self-soothe in the gentle transition between wakefulness and sleep. Trust your imagination to inform you and remember I am only a guide. If something doesn't fit or you want the story to drift in another direction, then trust yourself. There are no rules. Customize every time you listen and feel free to fall asleep whenever you like. In the sanctuary of your room, your body and mind, check in with yourself. Ask yourself how you are feeling and if there is anything you need to do before coming to stillness. Feel gratitude for the safety of the walls around you. So many times in life, you may have yearned to be safe in bed, and now you are. Appreciate this wonderful moment to unwind. 
shift your attention to your breath in a brief guided meditation. As you inhale, imagine breathing in the cool evening air of Vermont. The pure air is fragrant with the perfume of pine trees, a lake, and flowers in bloom. Take your time savoring the air as you inhale through your nose. Give your imagination full reign to change the world around you. Exhale when you are ready. Sinking deeper into your bed as you surrender. You may even sigh if that helps you relax deeper. When you are ready, inhale again. Slower this time as you expand your belly and feel your chest rise. As light and carefree as a balloon released in the sky. Add a yawn before you sigh, if you like. Every conscious breath is a measured attempt to let your body know that it's time for a holiday. Let everything go as you exhale. Enjoy one more round of deep breathing with your full awareness. And as you inhale, imagine drifting across a glassy lake. Feel weightless and free beneath a starry sky. As you exhale in a sigh, your breath becomes like a breeze that guides you across the silky water. You revel in this night of leisure, knowing that you will only become more relaxed and at peace as the night reveals itself. It's time for the story to begin. At least not to your knowledge, there has never been a town so enthusiastic and reverent when it comes to the return of the fireflies each year. Perhaps because in most places, it seems to be a mystery when the fireflies will awaken from their underground dwellings and join life above the forest floor. They revel in the dampness and warmth of late spring, lighting up the sky after the earth has thawed. The townspeople of Lake Reverie wager bets around when the neon yellow flickers of the beloved beings will illuminate the forests, meadows, and lake. Whoever is correct becomes the honorary marshal of the firefly parade that spontaneously forms to commence a week of celebrations that correlate with their return. Picnics, barbecues, meditations, and even a firefly dance take place during this time. The week always leaves room for contemplative nights before the sleepy town becomes a popular summer destination and the roads swell with overpacked vehicles and families. There are times you walk on the narrow path that winds through the woods to Martha and Ike's general store and feel as though you are revisiting a childhood dream. You walk alone, listening intently to songs of birds 
that flutter about in the early evening light. You appreciate the fact that the days are longer as sunset inches past nine o'clock. You encounter young animals of the forest around every bend on your route. You feel a sense of trust with them as you respectfully keep your distance and observe baby bunnies hopping along the edge of the path. A red-backed salamander perches on the roots of a white pine tree. Its vibrant color contrasts the pitch dappled pine cones and freshly fallen needles that carpet the forest floor. You take in a deep breath. The minty evergreen perfume and sweet smells of the damp earth marry a hint of baked goods that wafts on a soft breeze. One of two things always alerts you to the proximity of the general store. The redolent yeasty aroma of Martha and Ike's baked delights are the familiar squeaks and slams of the wooden screen door as it opens and closes with customers during the busier seasons. Either one of these experiences comforts you and you feel your muscles relax and your shoulders lower. You feel your jaw unclench and your eyes lighten. It feels like visiting the loving grandparents depicted in early sitcoms or children's storybooks. In a time and place where kindness is valued, where mishaps were trivial and easily overcome with the support of a community. When you wander through this town, you always feel the sense of community that is vital to thriving. And yet at the same time, your lake chalet offers privacy for moments of introspection and learning more about yourself and for days when you just need to get cozy and forget the world. As your feet land on the crunchy forest floor, you connect with the earth and feel grounded balanced, harmoniously belonging to the moment and letting it lead you without expectations or even a plan. When you come upon the general store, you smile as you always do, anticipating the kind sparkling eyes and warm embraces of Martha and Ike. And while they run the shop out of a rustic cabin for decades, they are always up to something new and creative, whether trying a new recipe, rearranging the shop, or celebrating the latest trends in recreation and arts and crafts. Martha always declares, Variety is the spice of life, my dear. You ascend the creaking steps and open the screen door to the general store. 
The sweet maple smell of old wood travels in the air, welcoming you. Always curious about what music will be playing. This week's selections have all been French covers of pop songs, given a bossa nova beat. Over the winter, Martha revisited the French language, something she dabbled in during college, having never learned much beyond the basics in order to help serve guests from Quebec. You also notice the vast array of firefly merchandise from mason jars containing yellow fairy lights to hand-painted canvas bags depicting fireflies lighting up the lake and forest. The baked goods that you smelled on your walk are decorated with chartreuse sprinkles and encouraging messages like shine your light scrawled across them in vibrant yellow icing. Ike is tinkering with a display case he built to house a new shipment of sunscreen and summer essentials. Martha sits behind the cash register perusing a French fashion magazine. Bonjour, ami. Hello, friend, she says when she sees you. She steps out from behind the counter to welcome you with a hug. It's been some time since your last visit to the chalet, but it always feels like you just saw one another whenever you reconnect. How have you been, sweetheart? She tells Ike to go get your firefly bag. A custom gift you ordered for yourself to celebrate your first time being here for some of the festivities. Ike says hello before disappearing into the storage closet where all the gift bags were assembled with the help of their grandkids in the weeks leading up to May. The fireflies arrived a few nights ago and given her history of great hunches, it's no surprise Martha guessed their arrival to the day and was the parade marshal. She excitedly fills you in and then asks what's new with you. It's comforting to confide in her. Being in her presence inspires a deep sense of resilience and understanding that no matter what happens in life, joy may be found. She's living proof of this. Martha teems with empathy that validates your feelings in the way her eyes soften and her head tilts with intrigue. Ike comes out with your bag and you smile to discover your lake chalet has been painted on the front canvas in the style of Van Gogh. The whimsical swirls and lines capture the silky lake, dashing fireflies, and a silhouette in the likeness of you and your pet by a fire pit. Martha happily lets you know a few surprises have been thrown in for you to enjoy when you get home. Ike explains, the town used to only have an annual firefly dance to celebrate the season. But with each new year, 
the hoopla has grown and grown. Martha's eyes light up as she mentions how she fell in love with Ike on the night of a firefly dance that they both missed due to work and family obligations when they were just teens. Exhausted at the end of a long day, they met for a walk along the lakeshore just as the last song of the dance played from the gazebo. The music of a live band traveled across the water as they stood together in the moonlight. And then, out of nowhere, all the fireflies congregated around them on the pebbled beach. Martha asked Ike to dance. He was always a touch shyer than she was back then. And he promised that if she ever were to consider spending her life with him, they would dance together every day. Their faces are both lost in this pleasant memory. Another time another life. You ask if I kept his promise, and Martha chuckles and says, Oh yeah, he did. There were times I was so livid at that man that we didn't speak for days. But we still danced, even on the days we could only muster a gentle sway or finger dance. We made it happen. Ike pipes in that the fireflies light up the sky in their mating dance. So it was only natural to fall in love during their return. A familiar song begins to play in French. Something you've heard dozens of times. The tempo slowed down and with a beat that swings... Ike looks at you and says, Don't mind us, kid. And they dance. An irregular visitor to the general store has seen them dance at least once before. And you watch them for a moment, warmed to the core by their authentic connection. There may have been times in life the cynical voice in your head would find this experience to be maudlin or over the top. But given the harshness of recent years, every drop of sweetness becomes precious. The last sunlight of the day filters through the canopy of evergreens surrounding the shop and pours through the old windows of the store like a golden spotlight on Martha and Ike. The ethereal light always seems to find them. It entrances you and you imagine them so many decades ago, enjoying new love as they danced with the fireflies. They continue to sway as you say goodbye and slip out through the screen door, careful to close it behind you. You walk back through the woods as creatures of the day enjoy their last adventures before sheltering in their dens and nests for the night. You return to your chalet just in time to watch the sunset over the lake. Every time you watch the fiery sunrise above or disappear behind Lake Reverie. 
You feel a deep desire to seek out more sunrises and sunsets. It becomes too easy to miss them when life is busy. You stand on the shore, removing your shoes and placing your feet on the coarse sand and cool pebbles. The water this time of year is a toe-numbing reminder of the glaciers that once carved out and formed the lake. Yet you enjoy the sense of aliveness the water brings as gentle waves lap over your feet. You are deeply grateful that the days will only get warmer going forward. As the sun disappears, the first fireflies flicker between tall blades of grass and velvety brown cattails along the shore. The chirps of crickets accompany you as you walk barefoot up the grassy hill to your chalet. You set the firefly bag on an Adirondack chair and gather kindling and a few dry logs from the woodshed to start a fire. All around the lake, longtime residents gather and start fires for this night of introspection and firefly gandering. The kindling starts to burn and the logs soon catch, crackling and popping as orange sparks fly toward the sunset skies. You walk to the chalet, climbing the steps to the deck to let out your pet to enjoy the night with you. Your furry companion greets you with a high-pitched sound and then races down the steps to sniff the grass. You return to the fire, lifting the firefly bag to sit in the chair. Your pet joins you in the other chair, curling up comfortably as the amber firelight reflects in their saucer eyes. You reach your hands into the canvas bag to pull out your favorite baked treat with an icing message written in cursive by Martha. It's personalized with your name and reads light up the world. You place it on a glass side table and continue to explore the contents of the bag. You find a piece of luxurious stationery folded perfectly into a square with a metallic gold firefly sticker holding it closed. You open it in the light of the fire and read a letter from the town that begins, Dear friend, the more you shine your light, the more you inspire others to do the same. Fireflies remind us that even the smallest light shines brightly in the dark of night. Below the message is a poem by Robert Frost called Fireflies in the Garden. Here come real stars to fill the upper skies. And here on earth 
come emulating flies, that though they never equal stars in size, and they were never really stars at heart, achieve at times a very star-like start. Only, of course, they can't sustain the part. You smile and sit back to watch the fireflies flying overhead while enjoying your treat made by Martha. Dashes of light weave like neon ribbons as they flicker their intentions and messages in the blue hues of twilight. Laughter and murmurs carry across the lake, accented by croaking frogs and the persistent songs of crickets and crackles and pops of the fire. And you become lost in the hypnotic motion of sparks flying towards the sky and fireflies flying towards one another against the backdrop of an inky blue sky twinkling with stars. There are moments when you cannot tell if there are more stars or fireflies, but every flicker of light becomes more beautiful and comforting the darker the sky becomes. The temperature dips and the cool air creates a lovely contrast with the heat of the fire. You notice your pet looking up at the fireflies in awe as well. Your dear companion's eyes sparkle. With a sense of wonder and appreciation, you recognize that all life sparkles in its own way. Fireflies sparkle effortlessly, never dimming their lights for the sake of those who dwell in the dark. And you realize the power in shining your light. No matter what may try to interfere or dim it. Martha knows this well for she has lived a long life and each new year brings more opportunities to be true to yourself and light up the dark. The fireflies move gracefully through the sky, each one floating with ease. In their own way, they experience the elation that comes when the sharpness of winter is replaced with the warmth of summer, their season to shine. You watch the fireflies hover over the placid blue lake as the moon rises in the sky overcome by a wave of deep reverence and peace. Like the crystalline water, your mind becomes clear and reflective, so connected with everything around you. You feel your life force and internal power as you take in a deep breath. Sometimes 
It feels as if nature is the only thing that gives you total permission to simply be. And while the crickets and frogs continue to sing out, the logs burn into magenta embers. Everyone else on the lake has retreated to their chalets and cottages after a night of celebrating the fireflies. You rise and bring a watering can to the fire pit, slowly pouring water on it to put out the embers. The water transforms into steam with a soothing sizzle that brings a finality to the night. Your pet waits for you to guide them home, yawning and fighting to keep their eyes open. Within minutes you are in your room, your pet already settled at the end of the bed. You open the firefly bag to discover another gift, a mason jar full of fairy lights. You turn it on and place it on the bedstand. Once changed into pajamas, you crawl into bed as a breeze off the lake blows through the screen windows. And through the skylight, Above the bed, you can see the stars and a few fireflies. You drift between worlds, fireflies dancing along with you as you cherish the soothing space between wakefulness and sleep. You are in a dreamy haze of contentment. Your body sways in an ethereal dance, moving with the same freedom of the fireflies, the campfire sparks, and the ripples on the lake. The fluidity of the moment makes you feel more in love with your body and the sensations of being alive than you have felt in a while. Every breath comes and goes with ease, relieving you of earthly concerns as you venture into your dreamscape. Floating, drifting, and letting go. You inhale the fresh Vermont night air. For the last time, you will recall before you fall into a dreamy slumber, finding peace, finding bliss, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night.